I really wanted to find a way this year to make Halloween fun for my kids because we weren't going to be trick-or-treating. I thought in my head what's the best idea to do should be trick-or-treat just at family and friends or just cancel it altogether. and I came up with the idea to have like a home trick-or-treating party for just us, no friends, no family. I started by having my husband cut out some plywood and nail it to a base frame and then cut out a circle in the center so we could do a beanbag toss. And then I figured out what I wanted to do and I made a target on it and did obviously orange and black because Halloween colors, duh. And then drew a cute little ghost holding it up. And that was the first idea I had for a little game they could play. Then over here, I had my husband spray paint a box outside and then I started painting it brown. And then I made it look like a wood texture and used gold acrylic paint. Um, to make it look like a treasure chest and then I hot glued jewels and beads on to make them look like treasure necklaces so that we could do a ring toss with some bottles. Then over here you can see I added Mod Podge to help seal the paint so it will last even longer and then potentially be put outside. Then I took some plastic cups and I figured we could do a beanbag toss to knock the cups over and I thought maybe I would just grab some clip art and print off some pictures on regular printer paper and I cut them off and taped them on. Here's some bean bags I had made actually 10 years ago for my engagement party because we did a Halloween engagement party and they're just sewn together a different fabric from Joann's filled with I think gerbil food or beans. Lastly, I took some black sheets and I cut out some Halloween felt fabric I had from Joann's and a Christmas one with sharks because fabulous. And I hot glued them down on the sheets and then I took tape that was fluorescent and glows under UV light and just put it around the sharks so that way when it's in the basement under the black lights it will glow. Here's what the basement looks like, all set up with everything painted and taped. For the ring toss, we used bottles and I used glow-in-the-dark paint so that it'd be easier for them to be seen. We had a decorated skeleton like a pirate, just like a little plinko board. Then I set up like all kinds of different beanbag games. So we have like a mini cornhole those are wet right now with paint on the rims, but that's just a beanbag toss to knock down the cups. There's a tic-tac-toe board. There's like shooting in the hole over here. There, we set up candy buckets and then against the window, gravestones. Just a plastic, another plastic skeleton. And obviously this is our exercise area too, so there's exercise mats and stuff, but a different kind of beanbag toss over here, and then a prize bucket without candy in it. And then if you look over here, we just have different like spiders around the area. And then the ceiling by the lights, we did um, like black light, it's black light paper I got on Amazon, and then we also threw up a spider web. And yeah, so this is our little Halloween area since we're not trick-or-treating this year. Um, the kids can do little activities to earn candy. Thank you for watching. I hope this video gave you some ideas for things you can do with your kids this Halloween. Grr, shark attack!